discuss what's going on. I know there's a lot of rumors going on out there. I know that's hard to believe here in Strawberry Ridge, but yes, there are some rumors. Uh, so what has happened is the ownership team of the Blair Group has decided uh, to put uh, all of the properties onto the market. And the reason for that is they want to see, uh, because they don't know, uh, if it would be possible to sell off all five or one or two or, or some part. Uh, so that is all that they're doing is they're putting it on the market to see would there be a potential buyer and if so, what the value of all or some of the properties would be. No decision has been made about uh, the sale. There's no particular buyer in place or in mind. It's just simply to see what is out there in the market. Um, and I think given the current real estate market, we'd all would agree, it'd be kind, of, be kind of silly not to see what's available out there. Um, with that said, Bob has made it specifically clear that he is not going to just accept the highest price offer. Um, if there is a potential buyer, uh, they are going to have to create a package that is and meets Bob's standards. And there's a lot that goes into that, but it's not just going to be the first person that comes in and offers him whatever, X, Y, and Z. Okay? So this is going to be a process that's going to take a while uh, to determine, and it may or may not result in the sale of the property. Uh, if it does, however, one thing I want to address is that Strawberry Ridge and the residents are protected under Florida law and your lease. Nobody can come in. If a new buyer comes in, they can't come in and do anything, knock down the homes, rezone it. They cannot do that, okay? Florida law prohibits that. Your homes, your leases are safe to the end of, you know, to the end of your lease. Uh, whatever it is that you sell or whatever, as long as you're here, your lease is protected. They cannot do anything. They have to honor the lease as it is. So they cannot come in and double or triple the rents. They have to follow the lease exactly as it is currently written. The reason for that is, is that uh, the Blair Group took great care and caution when they wrote all of our leases and prospectuses uh, to make sure that they are um, detailed and that they're based on calculations, okay? You might have heard of other properties in Florida getting bought up and changed over into office buildings or retail shops or whatever. That is because their leases were not written specifically and based on formulas, and so Florida law did not offer them the same protection that they offer ours, okay? So no matter what happens with the sale, it will not affect your lease. Your lease is your lease to the day you sell or whatever you do, uh, but everybody here um, is protected, okay? Now, that doesn't mean if a sale happens that they might come up with their own lease for new buyers, but you currently and current residents are completely protected. Now, all of that is still a bit diff. Um, Bob has said and instructed us to operate this community just like we did before because he feels at the end of the day, there's a very strong possibility that the Blair Group will still own this property in all five. Uh, he's got a lot more experience in that realm than I do, uh, so I take him at his word that there's a strong possibility we'll still be in an ownership position uh, at the end of this. So what you're seeing is you know, we're, I'm going to continue to do my job um, as it has been done before. That being said, today you see some of the landscaping projects. All of those that you're seeing around for the next week or so were planned to be done this, at some point this year. And I'm not going to lie, with this new development, it's kind of accelerated the schedule. So uh, you're going to see a lot more improvements a lot sooner and a lot quicker uh, that we're going to be spread out over the year. But, we need to get them done now. So I just want to put everybody's, or try to put everybody's minds at ease that there's nothing, you know, that's going to happen if a sale does go through. 
you are completely protected, okay? And they cannot do anything with your home. They can't buy you out. They can't do any of that stuff. They have to, by court of law, honor your lease. Okay? Is there any quick questions? I mean, I, I know you do. And let me say this before we get into that. If after this you still have questions, please, please call my office, shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and discuss any answer any questions that you may have. Um, but I am here to help. I don't want anybody to go around with unanswered questions or if you hear something like I had, I had a couple of people come up to me and ask me, you know, what company they should use to pull their home out. <laughs> That's, it's not even close to that. So I just wanted to quell some of the rumors. Um, you know, very, it will not affect you really at all, even if something happens. But I want to continue to stress that, is that this is only being done to see if there's a potential buyer. And if so, what would the value of the property or all the properties be? So no decision has even been made that a sale will happen. That's obviously a possibility, but no decision has been made that yes, in fact, it will be sold. Okay? Do I have any specific, yes ma'am? Chief, when you say lease, what if, is it from the time you buy the house until we sell it, or is it from year to year? Now, your lease, because it auto renews, it's from the day you bought that house. Okay? Your leases renew every year. So, there's no term expiration for a company to exploit. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I have. Oh, I have one over here. Okay. Yes, sir. What about security in the port? I'm sorry. What about security in the port? Okay, that's not all here today. If you want to come see me Monday, we'll see how we think it is because I had a temper broad at my house, and the owner don't know about this, and it was also an armed robbery at the same time. Why don't you know about this? Okay. Why don't you come see me one day? I don't want to hold up the meeting going over issues. I'm here today about the marketing of the property. Come see me one day and I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. Yes? We noticed that the 55 and over sign has been taken down in front of the park. Does that have anything to do with this sale? No, actually, uh, that, so I've been here five years now. And it was not a 55 and over sign when I started. It doesn't change our uh, status at all as a 55 and over community. Whether we have the sign out or the uh, out front or not, we are a 55 and over community, and it will stay that way. Okay. So, Keith, you're telling us there's no loopholes that No, there's no loopholes. And if you, if you want to verify for yourself, look up Florida Law, Chapter 720. In Florida Law Chapter 723, it lays out when a new buyer buys a property, things that they can and can't do, okay? There was somebody back here with one? Okay. All right, I'm gonna, oh, one more. Oh, I have a question for you. Since you're, I say not the target, I can't have a nice Is there a possibility we might get a better propagation? Come see me Monday. Let's, I don't want to get into the whole thing, you know. I don't want to lose focus, okay? So I, I thank you all for your attention today. Uh, and so you know, I'm actually videoing this so I can share it with all the people who work here today. Uh, because I really want you to understand and not worry about things that are not going to happen. But like I said, if you have any other questions, Please give me a call, shoot me an email in the office. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I don't want anybody, nobody wants anybody being afraid or upset if they don't know something. Uh, the worst thing you can do is think that you know something. Just give me a call, I'll be more than happy to clarify, okay? I thank you all and have a great meeting.